Uh, welcome to the next episode. Uh, today I'm gonna show you uh, what could happen if you're using it, uh, if you're using the uh, top of the range Shimano MTB uh, group set, uh, especially the sprocket, the rear sprocket. Uh, what kind of failure you can uh, expect during, let's say, uh, lifetime ex uh, expectancy but uh, this failure in this sprocket was basically made uh, after four or five thousand kilometers which is not so so much in terms of uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, duration so what we have in here it's basically uh, one of the the segment uh, inside this, the the cassette, uh, especially this is 19 and 21 teeth uh, segment, and uh, as you can see in here, this can have a free movement. Uh, even though you can see all these pins in here were stretched out in the axial direction, uh, what that means? It means that. I know, I know the guy who is writing this. He was uh, mainly using the sprocket, or let's say, um, he was crossing the chain uh, quite often. So it seems like that in Shimano, uh, a lab or search research and design bureau, uh, they don't, they're not able to, to predict the right uh, axial forces on the sprockets if you're crossing the chain and in this case you can see it's failed 